everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. So everything that I eat today I'm going to film for you guys. And I am going to be counting calories but I'm not going to start counting them until the end of the day. So I can do some evaluating at the end of the day to see how I did and whether I need to adjust my diet at all. So I hope you enjoy this and if you want to see what I ate today then keep on watching. It's almost 9 a.m. and I'm going to start the day with a chai latte. Sometimes I just do a chai tea or a coffee, but today I'm feeling like having something sweet and caffeinated to help me get through the first half of my work day. Or to make the chai latte, I'm going to use this. Um, it's a chai latte concentrate from Tazo. And I'm also going to add this coconut milk that I've been absolutely loving lately. It's unsweetened um, and it's only 45 calories. I'm going to start with half a cup of water. Now I'm adding half a cup of chai concentrate. Now I'm adding half a cup of coconut milk. Now it's nice and hot so uh, it's good to go. While I'm waiting for my tea to cool down, I'm going to go ahead and take my vitamins. Um, there are two that I take every day and they are gummy vitamins because, I don't know, I just like them. These are just the multivitamins that I take just to kind of cover my bases. So I take two of these every day. And then lately I've also been taking this hair, skin and nails um, gummy vitamin. And these work really well, almost too well, because you end up having to shave like more often because um, it makes the hair grow not just on your head, but like all over your body. But lately I've been wanting to grow my hair out and kind of I'm hoping that it will make my hair a bit thicker as well. So I'm, I'm taking one of these, even though it says to take two, just because of the leg hair thing. Here they are. I'm ready for breakfast, so I'm cooking up five cocktail sausages, and I'm going to eat them with an apple. I use this spray oil, um, which has zero calories, to cook the sausages. Here is my breakfast. So I have five cocktail sausages and then I also have one small apple that has been cut up. Hi, so it's almost 12 and I thought I would make one of my favorite snacks lately. These uh, crispy mini, what are they called, rice cakes. Um, this one is in the everything flavor. On top of it, I put some of this Laughing Cow Cheese Triangles. And these are amazing. I've liked these since I was a kid. And they come in a lot of flavors now. This one is the Garlic and Herb, which is my favorite. I highly recommend these as an alternative to cream cheese because these are only 25 calories per portion. So it's definitely a lot less calories than cream cheese, but it gives like a similar effect um, but they're a little bit more tangy than cream cheese. So I just spread the um, cheese on top of the rice cake like this. And here it is. So it's a really nice little snack um, that's very low calorie. Um, and it's like creamy and satisfying. So if you want to make this into a breakfast or like a lunch, you can also eat this with some salad on the side or like maybe a fruit cut up. I need a bit more caffeine, so I'm going to have this green tea. Uh, it's called um, Genmai Cha. It's green tea, but it's got like a little bit of brown rice in there, and it has like kind of like a nice smoky flavor. I really like it. If you've never tried Genmai Cha, I really recommend it. It's like a little bit more special than regular green tea. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm hungry and I'm feeling something a bit more substantial. So I think what I'm going to do is a sandwich and some soup. I'm going to start with this whole wheat uh, Weight Watchers bread. And I'll just take two slices of that. Then I'm going to add some Gruyere cheese. And some turkey slices. I'm going to put the uh, sandwich in my panini press, but instead of using butter or, or oil, I'm going to use um, the cooking spray from earlier. To go with my sandwich, I'm going to have some of my butternut squash soup. Um, if you haven't seen this video, I will link it below um, and check it out. This is my 80 calorie butternut squash and this is quite a nice little lunch, uh, a late lunch I guess. Hey, so it's about mid-afternoon and I'm feeling snackish as usual and so I'm having a bubbly uh, sparkling water. This is a uh, blackberry flavor. These are my favorite, they're like my new replacement for soda. And with it, I'm also having some popcorn. So I use these individual bags from Orville Redenbacher's. They're the Smart Pop ones. This is what I usually have late at night as well. Um, I like to use popcorn instead of chips because they are usually lower calories. Hey, so it's later at night now. It's 8 o'clock and I'm making some craft dinner and some sausages for my husband and I. In it I'm going to be putting some margarine and also the same coconut milk from earlier. It's late at night and I'm going to make some lemongrass and mint uh, lemongrass and spearmint tea. Hey, so it's the end of the day. I'm just about to take a bath and then go to bed. I tallied up my calories for the day and I got 1,446. So that's actually about as much as I thought I was eating. And this was really an honest day. Like I know some of the things I ate were not so healthy, but I wanted to show you the reality of what I was eating and just give you like an honest um, what I eat in a day because sometimes I see other people's what I eat in a day and I just don't believe it like are you really eating that way every single day so I think this was about accurate I tend to eat smaller meals and kind of like lower calorie earlier in the day and then usually later in the evening we have some kind of unhealthy meal it's usually from like a box or like something pre-made but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and let me know your thoughts and if you would like to see more of these. And thanks for watching.